as they say, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So that's why it's really important that your first communication with your email subscribers sets the right tone. In this video, we'll be going over how to write the perfect welcome email. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do so by clicking the subscribe button. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when our new videos are released. So when someone new subscribes to your email list, it's common practice to send out an automatically generated welcome email. But what should you say? Are there things you should include or not include? Well, instead of hiring a copywriter to write your welcome email for you, or just throwing together a couple of sentences and calling it a day, in this video, I'd like to go over what makes the perfect welcome email so you can follow these guidelines and start off on the right foot with your email subscribers. And stay tuned to the end because I've got a special bonus tip that you won't want to miss. So let's dive in. The perfect welcome email is delivered promptly. So the perfect welcome email is delivered right after your new subscriber signs up for your list. Some email marketing services give you an option to wait a day or two, but it really is best to set up an autoresponder to send that welcome email right away because your new subscriber has just signed up for your list. So you know, they're interested in you and your online business. So just go ahead and send that welcome email while you have their attention. If you wait a few days, you never know, the person may have lost interest by then, and then you're likely to see your open rates and engagement rates go down. The perfect welcome email has an engaging subject line. So the key to getting more people to open your emails is to write great subject lines that are enticing for your audience. And you can craft something that's curiosity peaking, like your first high ticket client, please don't share this or you can go with something more personal and informational, such as Christine access your ebook. But as a general rule, it's best to use subject lines that are short, clear, and to the point. The perfect welcome email is personalized. Instead of sending out a generic email without a salutation, try personalizing it and addressing your subscribers by their first name. Statistics tell us that that tiny bit of personalization can increase open rates by 18 to 26%. So it's well worth it to put in that small bit of effort. When you build your opt-in forms using Thrive Leads, you can capture your subscriber's first name and pass it along to your email marketing service so that your subscriber's name will automatically be inserted in your welcome email. The perfect welcome email sets expectations. So it's important to let your new subscribers know what to expect from you. Let them know what you'll be sending them and how often they can expect to hear from you. This way they know what to expect. And when they get one or two emails a week from you, they won't dismiss it as spam or trash. The perfect welcome email reinforces the benefits of being a subscriber. So there's a lot of marketers out there vying for your audience's attention. So even though your new subscriber has shown interest in you and your content by signing up, it's always a good idea to mention the benefits of being on your email list. Maybe you offer exclusive content to your subscribers. Maybe your subscribers are the first to know about discounts and promotions. In any case, mentioning why it's a good idea to be on your mailing list helps your subscribers look forward to your future emails and encourages them to keep reading them. The perfect welcome email also introduces you to your audience. So don't be shy about talking about yourself. Your audience wants to know more about you and telling people your story. So how you got to where you are, your accomplishments, etc helps people to get to know you and to also build that feeling of trust. So you don't have to write a full essay about your story, but a sentence or two will help your audience relate to you better and build a stronger connection. The perfect welcome email also delivers incentives as promised. So if you've offered some kind of lead magnet or bribe to encourage people to sign up for your email list, then be sure to deliver it. Test your opt-in form and make sure that your autoresponder is working. Also test the link to your lead magnet. The perfect welcome email has a call to action. Now, even though the welcome email is a response to your subscriber signing up for your email list, 
Keep in mind that your new subscribers are super eager and super enthusiastic. So this is a great opportunity to provide even more content and give even more value. You can drive traffic to a particular blog post that is super popular on your site or a list of resources, etc. And also keep in mind that you want to train your email subscribers to click on links in your emails. And that's because later on down the line, when you have product to sell, you'll be saying things like click this link to buy or click this link to learn more. So getting your subscribers in the habit of reading your messages and clicking your links will make it easier to generate sales later on. And now a bonus tip. So the perfect welcome email gets delivered to your subscribers primary mail tab, not their promotions tab. Now this one is really quite important because if your emails start going to your subscribers promotions tab instead of their primary tab, your open rates will go down as well as your engagement rates. So you really want to get your welcome email into the primary tab from the get go. And you want to make sure that people open your welcome email and that will help prevent it from going to the promotions tab in the future. So, how do you get your email into the primary tab? One thing you can do is tell people to whitelist your email address. That way your subscribers email service will know that any future emails you send are not trash. They're not spam. And then they will go to the primary tab, but a lot of people won't take the time to do that. So the other thing you can do is structure your emails as if you're sending them to a good friend. So use plain text, don't use a fancy email newsletter template design. Don't use too many images and don't use words or phrases that typical spam emails contain. So words like free winner million, etc. A lot of email marketing services do have a spam check, which will look over your email to see if it's likely to end up in the promotional or spam folder. So be sure to utilize that. Next, let's take a look at a couple of great examples of welcome emails. So this welcome email from Michael Stelzner at social media examiner is a really great example. I received this email only moments after I signed up for their email list. You can see that the subject line is personalized to me and it's very clear what the email is regarding. They've also personalized the salutation, which is a really nice touch. And then we learn a little bit about the history of the company and how they got started. They've included a link to the freebie that they advertised on their website. Then the email explains how often I will hear from them. And then they tell me what I'm going to receive and why it's going to benefit me. And we've got a call to action at the bottom of the email. So overall, this email is clearly written. It's not too verbose and it touches most, if not all of the points I just covered. And you'll notice that it is plain text, no images. So things like that really do help to land your emails in the primary tab. Really nice job on this welcome email. Another pretty good example is this one from Spencer Hawes at nichepursuits.com. So we start off with a bit of personalization. Then we learn a little bit about Spencer's journey. Then we have some links that take us to popular posts on Spencer's website. And we have a link to one of his free resources. Now his main website doesn't promise any kind of freebie, but if you are promising a freebie in some places on your website, but maybe not in others, then this is a great way to utilize the same welcome email for both opt-ins. And then we end with a few more links and calls to action. So overall, a good welcome email. And I should note that even with this image in the email and quite a few links, this email did make it to my primary inbox tab. All right, so now you know what to write in your welcome email, and you can start building those connections with your email subscribers. To build your email opt-in forms and place email opt-ins on your website, we recommend our lead generation plugin, Thrive Leads. And you can get access to Thrive Leads and the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.